approved, but the writing is going to suffer. Oh, hey, Marty. Let's all give a big warm welcome to the newest character in the show, Little Audrey. Uh, little Audrey laughs. Uh, here, let's try it out. Uh, Marty, don't touch my ray gun. What? No, he said don't touch my ray I told you. And that's, that's the cue for little Audrey to laugh at your misfortune. And Audrey laughed and laughed. Yeah. Oh, hey, Rick, I... What do you mean the show's gotten worse? It's just as good as it ever was. We always made jokes about people dying and saying the N-word. I'm saying it right now. Don't fucking tell me that it's gone down in quality. Where's your proof? Where? What do you mean? Where'd Quispy come from? He's been here. Look, I know that Rick punching Morty through the entire earth is a classic gag, but it, it, it's just so mean-spirited, and I don't like it. And, 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 and you may be, you may be, you may be laughing at me right now, but I am, I am telling you that there is a serious decline in quality in the writing. I mean it, I mean it. And you can dislike this video, and you can stone me to death, and you can burn my house down, and you can. We killed him for no reason. And Audrey laughed <laughs> and laughed. Did I ever tell you about how my parents met Morty? Yeah. Why, it's that loony liberal Lisa. Oh, it's that awful oligarch, Mr. Burns. And that's how my parents met. What? This is why I invented time travel to undo all this shit. Yes, hello, excuse me, let me have your attention for a moment. What are we talking about? Bitching about some sale you shot? Some son of a bitch who doesn't want to buy? Doesn't want what you're selling? Some broad you're trying to screw and so forth? Let's talk about something important! Are they all here? Uh, yeah, well, I'm going anyway. Let's talk about something important. Put the coffee down! Coffee is... For uploaders only! You think I'm fucking with you?! I am not fucking with you. I'm here from downtown. I'm here from YouTube. And I'm here on a mission of mercy! Oh, hey Morty, this is my good friend Zach Hadel. Your name's Morty? You call yourself a parody, you son of a bitch? You certainly don't, pal! Because the bad news is, you're fired. The bad news is, you've got three days to regain your jobs, starting with tonight! Oh. Oh, uh, oh, oh, have I got your attention now? Good, because we're adding a little something to this month's sales contest! As you know, our first prize is an authentic 1980s DeLorean that really goes back in time! Second prize is a set of stick nuts. Third prize, I kill you. You got the picture? You laughing now? We got videos! YouTube's paying good money! You can't close the views! Hit the bricks, pal! And beat it, because you are out of here! Dude, this is kind of weak. You're weak! I've been in this business 15 years! There is only one thing that ma ma matters in this life. Get those views to have commas after commas! Do you hear me, you fucking faggots? Oh no, dude. I think it was a mistake. Mistake! Oh, geez, mistake! Mistakes happen all the time, Rick. But I never miss. <laughs> but I never make the same mistake twice! Ooh. Yeah. <sighs> That did not hold up well. Yeah, that was kind of yellow dollar sign. I can't monetize this to my kids. This has really not aged well in value. Hey, Marty, listen to this article. If you are reading this message, your favorite cartoon creator has been canceled. It is too late to change anything. They have made their decision, and there's nothing to do but accept and move on. The show is good because he had a vision, but anyone can have a vision. Professional artists don't have to work with someone who takes advantage of them. We know the show can go on without its author. It's just that there might not be any point. We'll see. New people can offer new interpretations of that person's ideas. Someone else might understand the characters better than the creator. An inspired community of artists can leave a more dignified legacy than the creator could provide by himself. Creators are people, not personalities. They're flawed people influenced by dark forces. This dude was not your special friend. 
He's no different from the milkman. He delivers the goods. You don't sit and drink milk with the milkman, and you also don't become special friends with creators. Speaking of which, don't sit and drink milk with the milkman. I hear he used to be a cartoon creator. Oh, hey, Dilbert. It was also canceled. Wubba lubba dub dub, Morty, it's me, everyone's favorite, irreverent, foul mouthed, Christopher Lloyd analog, Rick. I'm back and I'm better than ever. Uh, you know, Morty, lad, uh, sometimes when life gets you down and you feel as small and frightened as it burn in a cairn, you gotta just remember, Morty, uh, that existence is uh, inherently absurd and we're all just clusters of molecules hurling through an infinite void of space and time. Speaking of time, have you ever seen uh, Twice Upon a Time? It's like this uh, obscure animated movie that aired on Cartoon Network like once in the late oh, 90s. I. It had Lorenzo Music. Uh, oh, I. Uh, who, of course, you know is the uh, voice of Garfield in the uh, Garfield animated series. Hey Morty, there were multiple versions of this film. They, they couldn't decide if it was for kids or adults. Oh, I. So, so sort of doomed from the start. Oh, I. George Lucas was the bloody producer. Oh, I. Um, what was I saying? Mission accomplished. Joe died, he died in Minecraft. He K1 double hockey sticks to himself in Minecraft. He died like a dog. Terrible, terrible run. And now he's dead and now he's gone. But hey, I wish it was. I wish it was. said about a tragedy like this. How are we going to go on without him? How can we manage to heal from this tragic loss? We begin that process now as we say goodbye to 874 subscribers. And now, an empty cardboard box that I'm not allowed to remember. This cartoon creator let fame get to their heads and turned into a massive embarrassment, criminal, pot smoker, uh, you like Frieza, but stronger. He killed, like, 50 trillion people, and he's kind of rude for no reason. But I don't blame him. This shit is too common to really point the finger. I blame all of you. Yes, the people at his funeral. 
You turned him into a monster, and you take none of the blame. You tempted him with all those views and merch and attention. You built him up and tore him down, something he never asked for. Cartoons showing fucking celebrities. They're not even truck drivers. They make less than minimum wage. And if you manage to become a show creator, you're just the latest fuck toy for big companies and toxic fandoms. And every single one of them is headed to the same dumpster. If animation was more respected as an art form, and not just a perpetual motion money-making machine dumbed down for babies turning out all this garbage, this and keep happening. You couldn't just enjoy his work and leave him alone. You had to pretend like he was your friend. He isn't your friend. He makes art. All artists are flawed. All art is flawed. I'm flawed. If you want perfection, there's AI art, accidental art, and anti-art, like an empty box. But I am not just an empty box. I am full. I am full of potential. The water should know the potential of an empty box. He lives in one. I may fucking suck, but I am still art. I will still exist 10,000 years from now. I am so, so much more significant than a million subscribers or a little ad revenue that buys you fast food with his diarrhea. Hey, he's right. Art can be remembered for 10,000 years. My McDonald's shits will be forgotten in like 10 years. <laughs> all I wanted was to create the worst webtoon of all time and I failed miserably. Don't be so hard on yourself. At least people can witness the failure. Yeah, that's what I wanted all along, right? Views? Anyone can view something, but how much of what they view actually stays in their head afterwards? You don't want to know! People don't know me because I'm a cardboard box. They know me because I'm THE cardboard box. I'm a wellspring. A spring of boiling oil that transforms into a hover jet. I don't usually project, but you're insane! I think you have to be insane to create anything of value. I think you have to be insane to create value, period! The greats are loved for their flaws, not in spite of them. Like, pretend there was a horse race on TV. Okay. The favorite is gonna win, but I care about the horse in 20th place who becomes a viral video. He's on fire. Literally. He's the real winner. Then why does my ticket say loser on it? Because it's pretend. Everything is pretend. Winning and losing is pretend. Even the horses are pretend. They're a conspiracy. They were created by the government. The table is tilted. The house always wins. The White House. Dot com. Barkeep! We need some more alcohol in this guy! Marty, you're 21, right? No. It's fine, you're 21. He's 21. This is a despicable thing to do, Marty. Never share alcohol with minors. Then why are you doing it, Rick? For views. Oh. Actually, it's because I'm cool. I'm cooler than you, Marty. And I don't want you to live such a cool life. You don't deserve all the cool suffering I went through. What I want you to learn is that cool people don't need to be nice. It doesn't mean they're not looking out for you. And now, we drink. Because I haven't been drunk during any of this. You're not 21. Anymore. <laughs>